there's really no delicate way to get to our next story about art, so we might as well jump right into it. A man named Steve Silberberg of Dallas, Texas, has amassed one of the more bizarre art collections on this planet. He collects air sickness bags from airplanes. Well, they're compact, they're free, and uh, people look at them and say, hey, that's really weird, and that's what I'm shooting for. Silberberg has created a kind of art gallery for air sickness bags on the Internet. You can dial it up at www.airsicknessbags.com. And here's the most surprising thing about this collection. There is nothing queasy about it. Some of the bags are striking graphic designs. One of the things I, l I really like is the Cathay Pacific. Now, Cathay Pacific, it looks like a plain white bag, which a lot of airlines have gone to, but there are very light and subtle tones on there, very light pastels on there that are very soothing. So, for instance, the uh, old Cathay Pacific has, has some small swirls on them, um, almost looks like a wave. You look at it, and it's very calming. Could, could, could I um, describe it just a bit? Because that was I, I was scanning through your collection on the website, and this came out. Uh, this this hit me right away. The Cathay Pacific Air Sickness bag looks sort of like an ancient Japanese brush painting. These soothing, subtle tones of grays and greens. It looks sort of like a uh, an abstract of um, of the rain um, sweeping out of the sky. That's an excellent metaphor for it. It it is. It's. Uh, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but some of these are actually works of art like that. And you'd have to say that there a lot of thought went into this. What's another one you like? They're the ones that are more functional, like the TWA bags. The TWA bags, they, they're now plain white, but back in the 80s, in the early 80s, they, uh, they figured that people wanted to play gin rummy while they were playing. So there's a gin rummy scorecard on one side. <laughs> and, uh, still, but I wish they still were around. I bet. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, how many times are you in an airplane and, you need to, and you're playing gin and you just don't have a place to write down your score? But on the other side of these bags, um, you can save on color prints. Apparently, uh, there are film companies who used to advertise on these, on these uh, bags as well. So now let's get to my absolute favorite on the website, the Air Sickness Bag Museum, Finn Aviation from Finland. Yeah, this, this one's amazing. It's, it's actually a very large bag. It is a, is a white and blue bag, and that's the only colors on it. And it's got a very uh, Art Deco reindeer on it. And coming out of the uh, mouth of this reindeer are uh, blue and white squares. And you can tell that that's really um, that the reindeer is throwing up. And it's just amazing. You look at it, and it's obvious what the function is. And it's very, it's very striking and very funny to me. Uh, which needs no further comment. Um, <laughs> listen, uh, before we go, um, are you, I mean, have you determined that you are in fact the only air sickness bag collector in this galaxy? Not by any stretch of the imagination. There are three pockets of uh, collectors that I've seen, uh, and the internet's great about this. You can, you can find other collectors. Oh, really? I think there are, yeah, there are, there are easily a hundred uh, other collectors. And the pockets are, seem to be centered around Dallas, Germany, and the UK. And I don't know why that is. Um, <laughs> it just is. You look for yourself at this museum, www.airsicknessbagsplural.com. Thanks a lot for joining us. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Steve Silberberg collects air sickness bags. He spoke to us from member station KERA in Dallas. Mm -hmm.